Hi, I'm Anne from Madamsaw.com. This video is about the white hand foot. The white hand foot is a presser foot for your sewing machine and it's a huge time saver for anyone who sews clothing or home decor items where there's a lot of hemming. Uh, it makes double folded hems and it stitches them down without you needing to pin or press or mark anything. And on top of that, it gives you a very professional look. So, if you want to know how to use it, what you can do with this foot, and you want to have some tips and tricks so you have a head start, just keep watching. The white hem foot is a universal presser foot on which a guide with a little squirrel-like fabric folder is attached to pre-fold the fabric before it reaches the presser foot. So the fabric goes in here and then under the presser foot and the needle. There's also a thumb screw to adjust the fabric guide if you want. You can move the guide left to right to position the hem edge under the needle. This foot exists in three sizes, one for one inch seams, one for three quarter inch seams, and one for half inch seams. Maybe you already know a rolled hem foot or a flat hem foot, the smaller brothers of these feet. They come with the ultimate presser foot set. The white hem foot is a snap-on presser foot. You just snap it on your presser foot holder. For some sewing machine brands, You'll need to screw on an adapter first, the low shank snap-on adapter. This one you'll need for a faf, for some models of a Skvarna Viking, or for low shank screw-on machines. For a Bernina, you'll need the Bernina adapter and a low shank snap-on adapter, and for a high shank machine, the high shank adapter to be able to use this foot. Sewing with the white hem foot is not difficult, but the start can be a bit challenging to get the fabric into the folder and also sewing over seams and ending when you have a tubular hem um, will be less daunting if you look at the information I'll give you in this part. For a flat hem, you can try to slide the fabric into the fabric folder and then pull the fabric under the needle, keeping it double folded and pull the fabric backwards. This is not possible with tubular hems, but with this curtain it worked fine. For this rectangular tablecloth, I used another technique to get the fabric in place. This technique you can use when you don't start on an edge or you're sewing a tubular hem. Double fold the fabric, put the fold under the presser foot without using the fabric folder. Just put the fabric underneath the squirrel, put the presser foot down and sew a couple of stitches and then backstitch. Put your needle down, lift the presser foot and wriggle the fabric in and around the fabric folder, keeping the sewn part under the presser foot. And here I use the same technique for a tubular hem because I don't have an edge to start with. For a normal hem, use a straight stitch appropriate for the weight of your fabric. Once you start sewing, the foot will do the turning under of the fabric. As you are sewing, hold the fabric with two hands so it rolls into the approximate width of the hem before it reaches the foot. Feeding too much fabric in will result in a twisted hem. Feeding too little will do the same and leave a raw edge that will not be folded under. If you see you're losing control, just stop. Help a little by pushing the fabric a bit in between the needle and the folder and then continue. If you come to a seam while hemming, it can be a little tricky. Sometimes the seam passes the fabric folder easily, but often you have to push a little with your awl or pin. And if you're really stuck, you can put 
your needle in the down position, lift your presser foot, pull the fabric out of the squirrel, double fold it, put it underneath the presser foot and sew away, just like you did at the start. Once you pass the seam, stop again, needle down, lift the presser foot up, wriggle the fabric back in the squirrel and you're good to go. I use the same technique for the end of a tubular hem. So when you reach your starting point, stop at least an inch from the edge or your foot will be stuck in between your stitches. Put your needle down, lift your presser foot, pull out the fabric, put it underneath the foot, stitch and then meet up with the start of your hem. Sure, there's lots of different ways to finish your edges. You can bind them, you can overlock them, you can use contrast fabric, but what can beat a classic double folded hem? All neat and smooth and incredibly professional looking. With these hammer feet, your homemade garments will no longer look homemade and you will save a lot of time. So. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking the button here and I wish you a very nice day. Bye!